Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you for your testimony. Uh, my question is for Mr. Sinus. Um, so I, I'm an attorney. Um, I worked in Wayne County Third Circuit Court um, where no fault was 80% of the docket. Um, my question has to do particularly with the one year back rule. Um, how, and I saw on your screen that you would propose changing the one year back rule to, well basically from one year to three years. Um, how do we mitigate, um, you know, kind of outstanding bills that may accumulate and also racking up of bills and then, you know, letting the insurance companies know that, you know, you have 20000 or $30,000 worth of bills. Um, so would notice kind of be a part of this or how does that work? That's a great question. Uh, we are open-minded to exactly how uh, you go about this, but let me go back to the fee schedule. If the fee schedule is set, and within that, there's the guarantee of prompt pay, you're already off to a good start there, right? That way, you don't have this issue about what is reasonable proof submitted, what's the reasonable charge. That's what stirs up a lot of the disputes to begin with. So if you get that in place, our prediction would be that would just help things get off to the right start. As far as whether you increase it to three years, I understand there could be con some concerns that, that, that provides too much of a look back or something uh, to that effect. But I believe that when you have the fee schedule, especially if you have a reasonable fee schedule and a tenant care, there aren't gonna be that many more disputes that get kicked around that long. I mean, that's what really happens here. The insurance companies, even now encouraged by diffs, wanna challenge everything. And the lawyers representing people say, well, we can't give in because this is just a brutal negotiation. So we're gonna stay high, they're gonna go low, and one day we're gonna have a facilitation that we're all gonna spend a couple thousand dollars on and get this thing finally resolved. That kind of dynamic would just go away with a fee schedule. So I think that the concern about a long look back would go down and you know, you might have something in there where the, insur the insurance company you know, can deny a claim if, if it hasn't been submitted along a certain timeline or with the right kind of support um, so that they're not just, you know, presented with phantom claims out of nowhere. We understand that concern. Thank you, and, and I appreciate that because you also have the prompt payment, right? You have to pay within 30 days before you rack up fines and fees, and so we wanna make sure that there's notice. So, but thank yeah. you, Mr. Chair. 